Hey, y'all, I'm Ashlyn Craft, and you're watching Celeb Secrets TV. Celeb Secrets is here backstage at CMA Fest. We have Ashlyn Craft with us. Welcome. Hello. hello. So happy to see you again. <laughs> yes, you as well. Thank you for having me again. Of course, of course. This is the first CMA Fest in three years, too, which is nuts. I know. My first one ever. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so um, this is like brand new to me. Okay. But it's been so fun. Yeah. Very, there's a lot of chaos, but good chaos. Yeah. Just everybody running around wanting to hear country music. So yeah. you can't really beat it. And it is day one. I know yes. you performed earlier today. I How did. Was that? It, we just got off stage and it was amazing. Crowd was amazing. Uh, weather was, we had a breeze going. So okay, good. everything was perfect. Good. Yeah. At least there's no rain. Because I know. The earlier this week, that rain, like, come on. I know. We're not here for it. No, <laughs> definitely not here for it. So I'm assuming you performed songs off the album that, you, that you've had out. How was that? Yeah, it was great. I did a couple songs off the album and then I did a new one. Okay. So uh, we're just trying out some new stuff here and there and seeing okay. how the crowd reacts. But okay. overall, we just try to do like a really fun set and totally. try to keep it high energy and get everybody yeah. wanting to drink a little bit more. Well, so. yeah, it, it is the first day. So you got you to gotta hype everybody up for the next yes. three days, we obviously. Got a long three days to go, people. <laughs> now let's talk about this new music. Yes. What, what's been going on? You know, we've just been, I've, first of all, I've been trying to give, you know, this first album the time that I feel like it deserves and Absolutely. really give people time to like soak it in before I throw more stuff at them. But I'm really excited. I try to keep consistently releasing music is that's the goal anyways. But yeah, yeah we're working on stuff now okay. and uh, we don't have a date set yet, but it's all about the process. Yeah. So we're getting there. Um, we got a tour coming up soon. So hopefully by the time that rolls around, uh, we'll be playing some of the new ones. So how's this process been for you? Has it been like oh, stressful, fun? Tell yeah, me. Right, just CMA or just, just writing the music in general? Yeah, writing well, this new music. It has been exciting. It's been a lot of hard work, um, but it's been very rewarding because I get to. I've gotten to work with a lot of people that have been on my bucket list since before I moved to Nashville. Mm -hmm. um, Ashley McBride, Brothers Osborne, and uh, Cody Johnson, Co Wetzel. Zach Brown, all these people that I've kind of looked up to, you know, before I even moved here and started pursuing this. So it's very nice to get to kind of learn from them and Absolutely. and listen to them on stage every night and yeah. try to keep up yeah. <laughs> pretty much. But it's been amazing. It's been uh, anything I could ever ask for. So, totally. yeah. Totally. Now, Traveling Con came out last year. Yes, last September. Yeah, okay. last fall. Okay, so it, like you said, it's it's been a bit. So yeah. how would you say you've changed as, as a musician from putting out that project to now what you're going to working with with your future projects? Well, um, honestly, like the content and, you know, all that stuff, I feel like it's going to be different, obviously, but um, the delivery and hopefully the production is going to still resonate with Traveling Con a little bit. Um okay. I'm very much stuck in like the late 90s, early 2000s, yeah. and so I really wanted that record to reflect that and mm -hmm. kind of sound aged a little bit, okay. which I know is different. Everybody's doing, you know, a little more uh, modern stuff now, but I, I my heart's just there. I'm an old soul, totally. and so hopefully it'll still be a little bit modern, but okay. still for the most part, uh, pretty throwback. Okay in sound so okay. yeah and like what's inspiring the writing like who, who are the i mean we kind of like touched on the influences but is there anything else like in particular that's really influencing the music i think just honestly getting to wake up every day and do this is yeah. the influence yeah. um you, you obviously have your inspira inspirational moments here and there um that really encourage songs mm -hmm. but i think for the most part just getting up and writing every day and seeing what comes to mind also yeah. talking in the room like that's just kind of my motivation. Yeah. I don't really have anything specific, so to speak, but um, it's just kind of whatever I'm feeling that day and that. whatever somebody else is feeling that day, we always end up getting something that feels like it hits close to home. So, yeah, yeah you can't really beat that. Totally. And yeah. you mentioned it like tour earlier. You're busy summer touring. Yes. Talk busy, busy summer. Yeah. Um, we got a lot of festivals and fairs coming up and uh, just one off shows in general, but then. Uh, we have a tour coming up with Marcus King, and it's a two-month tour. I'm not going to be back in Nashville at all, wow. which I've never done before, <laughs> but I'm very excited. It's like the yeah. grunt work, you know, you really want to put in, so... That's just like what I'm really looking forward to this year That's specifically. Awesome. Yeah. Are you gonna like try and see new cities or anything like that? Yeah. It's always the goal for sure. If yeah. we're there long enough, I try to experience yeah. something. But chances are we're like in, in and, and out. out before you even think about it. Yeah. But I'm playing acoustic for this tour, so hopefully it's like nice. not a lot of setting up to do, and yeah. maybe I will get to explore a little bit more. So nice. fingers crossed. I'm gonna start checking places off my, my list. Yeah, and I feel like that like fits your vibe, just acu acoustic, like yes. raw and real, and just like getting out there with your with your Vocals. Yeah, it's fun to do acoustic. I feel like it's fun to like kind of strip it back a little bit. It mm -hmm. helps you connect with the audience. I feel just that much more. I yeah. don't know why. 
I think it's just super personal. So totally. I really enjoy getting to like slow it down a bit and go at my own pace and and interact with the audience. So I love awesome. acoustic. Yeah. yeah. Now let's talk this year manifesting. What goals or aspirations do you have? What do you want to do this year? Ideally, um, like I said earlier, I just my goal, my biggest goal is to release music yeah. consistently. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, I would love to re release another record. That's always on the books for me. I can't get enough of music so yeah. <laughs> um but yeah just looking forward to these shows coming up and okay. with cody johnson and and co wetzel and brothers osborne and then just touring and staying on the road and meeting people and trying to gain every fan that we can yeah. and meet as many people as we can yeah. you know yeah and keep yeah. busy too which yeah. i mean you don't have a problem doing that and no I, and i love it i'm like as long as i'm staying busy yeah. i'm solid this is all i've ever dreamed about doing so keep me on the road <laughs> right <laughs> ashton thanks so much Thank so you. nice to see you and have fun this weekend thanks y'all as well